Hi everyone, my name is Komla Dumo. I'm a presenter with the BBC World Service. I'm in the city of Lagos, Nigeria, from where I'll be answering some questions sent in from our Global Minds community. Okay, well, um, uh, my academic history is a bit uh, checkered. I started out as a medical student, actually studied medicine here in Nigeria, didn't complete it, decided to start again in Ghana, where I'm actually from, uh, studied sociology and psychology, and later on, public policy at Harvard University in the US. I've uh, lived in Nigeria, lived in Ghana, and lived in the UK, and uh, basically started my career as a radio presenter in Ghana with a station called Joy FM. Well, first of all, thank you very much for your compliment. Um, teleprompter, yes, use a teleprompter when you're reading television news. But when you're out in the field, uh, some of it is from memory. But I think the real credit goes to the producers who prepare these fantastic briefs for us, which we're able to study and absorb issues because we're dealing with different issues every day. As far as uh, not missing a heartbeat, I don't know if I do that every time, but I try to be as smooth as possible, bring all the elements of the story together, and present you with uh, a great story, a great presentation. It doesn't always work, but we try our best. And I suppose uh, the old adage that says, practice makes perfect applies in this case. Well, um, there are scripts and uh, we do stick to them. In your question about interpretation, if you mean do we interpret the news as we see fit, the answer is no. Ours is to report the news accurately balanced and allow you to draw your own conclusions. That's what we're in the business of doing. But I suppose when you hear presentation, individual presenters have an individual style. So they may add a little bit or take away from it, not the substance of the story, but stylistically, there may be some differences. And yes, we do have a laugh every now and then when it is appropriate on a program. So perhaps that it's what you may interpret as, uh, you know, almost joking. But if it's a serious story, I can guarantee you we take it very seriously. Wow, great question. Um, I think uh, I've developed the skill that I think many presenters have developed as well of compartmentalizing. I mean, when it's a serious issue, you need to focus, address that, get it on air, tell the story, get people to draw their own conclusions. If it's a lighthearted story, we'll present it as such. But in terms of making a sudden switch, I think we're always very cautious not to place a very serious story next to one that is rather humorous. I think the serious issues need to be addressed as such and be respected in their own right. And because there's so much emotion involved for some who may be watching, you want to present it uh, you know, with a degree of, of gravitas and sobriety. So uh, yes, sometimes you gotta make a, a difficult transition, but uh, I think uh, we, we just try and be as professional as possible when uh, doing those programs. Hmm, very interesting question. I think uh, the role of journalists, especially on the continent, is to report accurately, to tell the truth, and to cover the stories that are not on the beaten path. I mean, there's so many issues out there uh, on the continent that need to be addressed, whether it's Ghana, Nigeria, Zambia, or Malawi. And I think journalists have a responsibility to be objective, to hold their governments to account, because to a large extent, they are the voice, if you like, of ordinary people who may not, in some cases, be able to express themselves. So I think the best they can do is to follow those responsibilities ask the difficult questions, make sure that they are transparent and above all, objective and balanced. And I think uh, the continent will be the better for it. Hmm, good question, um, but I think it has a simple answer. Um, I started out with medicine and ended up in journalism. There's no single path to, I believe, success in, in any endeavor. I'll leave my children to choose their own path, whatever it may be, and uh, certainly do what I can to support them. Thank you.